So aside from the other, I mean, are you working on any other projects right now? Are you in the studio with anybody else? Anything we should yeah. look out for? Yeah, man. Um, it's been good, man. I just, uh, I just did an EP with Trinidad James. Mm. He's got, he's got a hot buzz right now, man. Yeah. And uh, I also did, um, I've been working with Eminem. You know, so we're trying to get some stuff going, man. And uh, of course, the Yellow Wolf Project. Um, we're locking in here real soon, man. So. <laughs> yeah, you said a little smirk on his face. Yeah, he got some good music. You know, one of, the, one of the things I like to ask producers, especially when they work with one artist mainly, because, you know, back in the days, like, there would be, like, one producer for a whole album. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis, you know, Dr. Dre, Quincy Jones. You know what I'm saying? There would, there would be a certain time where maybe a sound would be created or a specific, uh, I guess completion of a project would be by one producer. Do you got? Do you feel like you bring that to the table when it comes to working with the artists that you do? Yeah, like that's my thing, man. Like honestly, I've I've lost out on a lot of work, you know, because I'm really passionate about being able to at least get a few days with the artist. I want to be able to produce more than one record with them, you know. And a lot of times I don't get an opportunity because you know they want they want that quick situation, like send me a beat or. You know, let's just do one session. But I really like to get in. You can't really write a dope record with an artist if you don't know something about them. If you can't see where they're where they're coming from, or you know. So I, I like to do it that way, man. That the greatest records in history are those records to me, the ones that have a producer and an artist. You know, you can go throughout time, man. Those are the greatest records. You know what I'm saying? The ones that one producer and they have a majority of a, of a sound. You know, so. That's my thing. I'm all about creating a sound with an artist here. Absolutely. Well, one, I guess one of the things we could talk about too now is just relationships in general, because it seems like, you know, we always talk about all the panels, all the all the interviews, how important a relationship is. But you actually live in one firsthand with a yellow wolf, who, like you said, you grew with. You saw him at his best. You saw him at his worst. So you kind of understand where he's going. How important is the relationship between artist and producer in general, and how important is relationships with the music industry in general? Give your take on that. Um, relationships are everything, man. Um, I think that, you know, keeping your, your name good, you know, doing what you say you're gonna do, that's really important. I think that that's what keeps me and Yella super tight, you know. Um, I tell people every day, you know, if he doesn't ever do anything else for me again, he's done enough, you know, because that's the kind of relationship we have. And most of the people that I work with, those that's the kind of relationship I have with them. Like, we just stand on our ground, you know, and you, you just got to kind of represent, you know, something real. And um, I think that a handshake is real. You know, if you tell somebody you're going to do something, do it, man. And, and I think that you'll go far in this industry. Um, and you see, man, like, the, the people that you think might not be popping now, don't clown them. Don't be tripping, man. Don't do not do that. Because I've seen the most unexpected person, man, come and just shoot past everybody. And, um, you know, then you just stand around hating or looking crazy. But really, you just didn't have a certain amount of respect for everybody. Like, we've all come from, you know, we all came from learning how to do this, you know. So I think relationships are everything. Try to keep them as airtight as you can. You know, you ain't, ain't going to keep them all, but, you know, try to, you know. Yeah, I mean, the important thing is, I think, you know, a lot, we're in this new, you know, obviously, digital age, you know what I'm saying? Most of us have been using Twitter or Facebook for the last few years now, so I think part of the issue is trying to get out from behind all that, you know, shake some hands, kiss some babies again, you know what I'm saying? And really network, because, you know, these events, I mean, you know, it's great to come out and win one of these events and say, okay, I want to showcase, that's great, but, you know, the definition of winning, at least through us, is not about the temporary side, about winning a showcase, it's about coming out here really building got some important people in the building off the bat, you know, big shout out to Beats Magazine over here, you know what I'm saying, they're in the building, got a few platinum producers in the building already, a couple a &Rs in the building, you guys are here. So we, we definitely uh, encourage talking to everybody. When I used to come to these events, before we started putting them on, you know, we talked to, I talked to everybody, you know what I'm saying, I get everybody's card, give a card to everybody, and make sure that, you know, I, I uh, you know, followed up and whatnot. And um, the one thing about you that's interesting because we just did the A3C panel not too long ago, and you know, even with this guy's you know credible discography, he comes to the table like, you know, he walked to the table. He was like, oh, just plays and you know, DJ Tump. Like you, you really seem overly passionate. You really haven't let it get to you yet that you've 
I guess, had this level of success. So talk to the, to the new producers that are trying to get to that level and, and, and talk about remaining humble and, and all that good stuff. Well, I, I think, you know, being humble is just something I was raised to be, man. You know, um, I thank God for everything that's happening for me. And it doesn't matter, you know, what people think. I just want to be successful. And for those that are successful, I'm really proud of them, you know. So when you get a chance to meet somebody that may be doing better than you now, you know, you know, sometimes you need to just, you know, absorb that energy and use it for good, you know. We don't have all the answers, man. All you can do is get up every day, man, and hit your beat machine, man, and figure this thing out. You know, a hit record is it's whatever people feel. I mean, we watched Trinidad James come out of nowhere, you know, and that kid is very talented. And I think what it is about him is the humble approach, that hunger, that desire is popping, man. And that's what makes people, you know, want to be a part of what you're doing. So... You know, I think if you're a young producer trying to get on, man, just keep trying to get on. That's the way to do it. Somebody's going somebody's gonna to get it. And, and I think for me, once I was able to finally put together my team, the team that I trust and the team of people that I, that I know love me and, and really care for what I'm doing, I was able to really catapult my vision, you know, onto bigger things. So build a great team, man. Be humble with them. You know, don't stun on people, man. It's not good. You know, I got interns. I got all kinds of people that I work with. I treat them all the same, man. Nobody gets sun, none of that. You know, just try to keep keep it keep it tight, man. You know, because you got to come down. You go up, you got to come back down. You know what I'm saying? So just try to play even, man. Clap it up for Will Power one time, man. <laughs> so, Will, last, you know, last minute, man. Any, any last minute words for producers? Uh, you want to shout out your Twitter or any of your social networks that are follow you and find you? Yeah, um, I'm on Twitter at Super Hot Beats. It's S U P A H O T B E A T S. Um, just hit me up. You know, I I do a little rant. I go I do music rants a lot, man. We get to talking about EQs and all kinds of crazy shit on there, so it's fun. Um, we just got a new studio. Um, I've been blessed, man. So I was able to build out a new studio um, off of Huff Road over here. So. Hit me on Twitter, man, if y'all want to come through, check us out. You know, I am looking to work with some new producers. I do have a lot of opportunities. I am a published producer, so I, I'm, you know, I'm introduced to work sometimes maybe faster than some of the younger cats can be. So, you know, if you got something hot, come through, play it, man. You know, let's get it. You know, we're always doing stuff. Um, I, I got one thing I would like to say. If, you, if you're a young producer, man, find an artist. You know, I think that the game wants you to think that you gotta be out here shopping beats. That's really hard, man. You know, it's a lot of people sending beats to one person, you know, in whatever situation it is. Find an artist, cultivate that artist. You know, I'm telling you, it took me 10 years, man, to get my first placement. So I don't know how y'all feel about that, but that's, that shit's real for me. You know, 10 years to get one placement. And then- And it I usually can, takes four. Yeah, it takes one. Nah, I did good after that. We got 23 after that, but it's all good. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Just That's the point, though. The point is, it might take you 10 years to get going, but just keep going, man. All right, man. Clap it up for homie Will Power. Appreciate your time, man.